Hi, I'm Mary Claire Pete, the Director of Curriculum at MRU, and today I'll be walking you through how to use MRU's GDP, a Measure of Economic Health, unit plan. All of our unit plans have similar structures, so once you get the hang of this one, you can easily follow all of them. Our GDP unit plan is completely free to use and has four days worth of engaging lesson plans and materials to help students master GDP, and more importantly, understand why it matters. Everything is available in Google Docs, so it's easy for you to copy, edit, and distribute materials for your classroom. And we've adapted these lessons into Nearprod presentations, so you can take your pick which format to use. Of course, our lessons are mapped to high school teaching standards, but that's not all. They were also designed using science of learning elements critical to maximizing student comprehension. But we'll get into that a little more later on. For now, let's take a quick look at the materials you'll receive. As a teacher, you have access to the unit plan overview doc, which links to everything you need throughout the four days. You also have a teacher lesson plan for each day and answer keys for everything that only you can access. Students have an activity sheet for each day that they can copy, work off of, and add their answers to. Before we take a closer look at the documents themselves, I'd like to go over two big things that make our unit plan special. First, remember those science of learning techniques mentioned earlier? We're using the latest in learning science about how the brain encodes and retains information. And so through interleaving, retrieval practice, spaced repetition, analogizing, transfer, and metacognition, your students will better absorb and understand the lessons and, more crucially, walk away with that deeper understanding of GDP. And secondly, in addition to being based on the latest research on how people learn, our unit plan is just never boring. It's a multimedia experience containing a wide variety of resources, including short videos, note guides, online graphing tools, interactive practice, and timely news articles. Now let's go back to the unit plan overview doc. As you can see, it breaks down each day's respective concept and objectives and links to science of learning techniques and key documents. While each day is a little different in regards to the exact type of content used, we'll go through day one to get a sense of that layout. This is the day one teacher lesson plan doc for introduction to GDP. At the top of the doc, we have learning objectives, economic concepts, those science of learning techniques, and national content standards. If you scroll down a bit more, you'll see the student activity doc and exit ticket, which you provide to your students for their use. Again, each day's lesson varies a bit, but they all follow this layout. There's first a bell ringer, which is in Google Slides as well. There's a learn section, a practice section, and an exit ticket, which can be either in Google Doc or Google Form, whatever works best for your classroom. We've also included extend the learning and summative assessment questions. These last two parts are optional and you can use them with your class if you'd like to include them. Let's go back up to the top. On the left column for each section, you can see materials linked and organized into two categories, what you, the teacher need, and then what your students need. We've also sprinkled in some teacher tips throughout the lesson plans. In that middle column are the more detailed instructions to guide you through the materials. And in the right column is the estimated time it will take for your students to complete each section. As you can see in the left column, your students need the student activity sheet throughout the lesson until we get to that exit ticket. So let's take a look at the student activity sheet for day one. This is what your students see. It's broken up into parts that coordinate with the teacher's day one document we were just viewing, that bell ringer, learn, practice, and exit ticket. And as we scroll through here, we see various places where the students can insert their answers and links to activities for them to complete. And something to keep in mind as you go through all these materials, if there's anything you'd like to customize about the docs, like changing a question or rewording something, it's no problem. You can make a copy of everything and edit it however you'd like. So now that you have an overview of the structure of the unit plan, let's just take a closer look at some of those multimedia resources we have throughout the docs. In day one, for example, part two, learn, there's a video for students to watch in lieu of direct instruction. And we add interactivity by using a note guide with practice questions to check for understanding throughout the video. The videos are available on both YouTube and Nearpod. The nice thing about using the videos in Nearpod is that comprehension questions are embedded throughout the video for ease of use. 
And to pair with the video, we've also included a recent article for students to read and answer questions on to get them thinking more about GDP in the real world. In part three, that practice section, we have a GDP interactive practice in which students guess which goods and services are and are not included in US GDP. The interactivity of it is great for getting students engaged and helps them and you get immediate feedback on what they know and what they don't. Now let's look at day two student activity sheet to see some more examples of the multimedia materials included throughout the unit plan. Day two covers real GDP, nominal GDP, and real GDP per capita. And in this part two learn section there, we have an interactive trend guessing game in which students guess and learn about different GDP trends throughout US history. It's a fun novel way to introduce students to this material. Also in part two learn, we have a Google drawing activity about Venezuela's GDP, where students can guess Venezuela's real GDP and discover the big difference between real and nominal GDP for that country. And we even have links to various St. Louis Federal Reserve FRED data tools, World Bank, and Our World in Data, where students can interact with official data to learn about the world and graphs at the same time. That's all just a sample of what this four-day unit plan is packed with. Rest assured, between leveraging science of learning techniques and using engaging multimedia resources, your students will walk away with a real understanding of GDP and why it matters. And that concludes this brief overview of our GDP, a measure of economic health unit plan. We hope that this guide has been useful to you. And if you have any questions about using this, please reach out to us at support at mru.org. We'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Click here to learn more and request this curriculum. Click here to learn about our other teacher resources. Still here? Check out some of our most popular videos.